Free sync is free, but this thing here with G Sync should be called expensive sync. Need a website but want something that's easy and also elegant? Check out Squarespace. This is what we use for our store, epicpants.com. There's lots of templates here you can get started with, and you'll get a free domain if you sign up for a year. Speaking of domains, all you have to do is come here and you can grab your domain and get your website set up. You've got Git access so you can control virtually everything. We use it for the commerce tools, but maybe you need it for a blog or you just want to have an artistic portfolio. Go to squarespace.com right now to start your free one month trial and use coupon code tech syndicate to save some money. You guys are looking at the Acer Predator XB 321 HK. The HK stands for high kick, Hong Kong, uh, Harkonnen uh, catastrophe, what's spelled with a K. This is the 32 inch 4K IPS panel featuring G-Sync and it is beautiful as you can see. There's almost no backlight bleed. It's expensive, but I think Acer put a lot of time and effort into this display. Uh, I mean, the panel, the IPS looks really good. The color reproduction is um, pretty close to, to perfect. 178 degree viewing angle on this one. So you can sit, you know, on it, any side. It's going to be good for multiplayer games and that sort of thing because your friends come over, they can sit wherever they want. But the whole thing with this is that it is 4K with G-Sync. And it's a gaming monitor, even though it's an IPS. You could do some editing on this because it looks good enough. Now, a lot of gaming, gaming people out there, they want, you know, 144 hertz or something like, something more than 60 hertz. But you're only going to get 60 hertz at 4K. You may be able to crank it up a little bit more if you turn it down to 1080p or something like that, but that would defeat the purpose and you'd have a really expensive 1080p monitor. G-Sync, however, sort of helps, especially when you're playing games at 4K. You're not really going to be playing too many AAA titles at ridiculous frame rates at 4K. So. I think they thought 60 hertz with G-Sync would be the sweet spot because then when things drop below 60 hertz, the G-Sync still lets it feel nice and silky smooth. And so that's what you have with this monitor here is a gaming monitor that even playing a game that's terribly optimized like Fallout, the Gamebryo engine is horrendous. It still looks just really nice and smooth. They also have flickerless technology. And what that does is just really, um, I guess, keeps the, uh, the LEDs that are lighting this um, so that they do not appear to flicker to your eyes. It's good for eye strain and that sort of thing. A lot of monitors uh, recently, a lot of gaming monitors are gonna have that technology, but also it helps for when you're videotaping. You know, you notice there's no lines or anything going through it. So a lot of the modern monitors have this one. This one also has the flickerless technology. It's got speakers integrated into it, but not even really worth mentioning because they sound, I, mean, I think I'd rather put my head in a bucket and hit, you know, hit it with a hammer because they don't sound very good. It's just tinny and they sound like monitor speakers, okay? We'll just leave it at that and move right along. Consumes 56 watts of power when operating. Uh, it doesn't get that hot, but you will be able to generate a little bit of heat if you're in a closed room, but it's not extreme. All right, it's uh, got a DisplayPort cable. You got an HDMI. You got a USB 3 cable. So you got a couple of USB ports in there. One of them plugs in, then you've got sort of a little USB 3 hub, kind of cool. And then we also have uh, audio. So if you want to plug up that way, you, you can. Unless you just want to plug it up to whatever, I don't know. Does anyone actually plug their, their headphones, their headset, or any audio up to their monitor? Let me know because it's kind of an awkward thing to do, but some people like it a lot, so there's that. Now, speaking of the DisplayPort and the HDMI, if you want 4K at 60 hertz, you have to use the DisplayPort. There's no getting around it. If you've got multiple monitors and they're already using the DisplayPort, this one is going to be your new king. It has to have DisplayPort because the HDMI is only 1.4, not 2.0, meaning you can only run it at 30 hertz and you don't get all the, you know, HDCP uh, 2.2 or whatever. You don't get any of that. So in my opinion, HDMI, just get rid of it. Why do you even have it on there? If it's not going to run at, you know, 4K 60 hertz, then whatever. It's, it's not... It's, it's useless. Just give me a display port, plug straight into the panel and be done with it. All right, now let's, let's talk about the, the size of this thing and uh, the, you know, the aesthetics a little bit. You see Matt Gray all the way around sort of has the aggressive gamer aesthetic, but not too aggressive. It's like, you know, a big hulking monster that put on a suit and tie and like said, I'm going to settle down for a little while and, and do something important. You've got metal here on the bottom. It's very firm and sturdy. It's 25 pounds. There is a visa mount in the back, but at 25 pounds, that's going to be really... Uh, freaking heavy so make sure that your stand can withstand that much and a lot of you guys are going to want to use an alternate stand this does have a pretty big footprint even though it looks kind of cool check this out it will slide up and down there we go and go all the way down and then slide all the way up so you have a nice several inches you know going up and down and that's going to help if you're someone who always looks up or down uh, you can really kind of put it up a little bit higher and check it out and put it back right about there yes that's where i like it it tilts uh, you don't have too much leeway with the tilt, but you know, enough for most people. That's actually pretty good. So it tilts, does not swivel, and does not pivot. It would have been cool if you could put this thing all the way up and then pivot it, but no. And I mean, this thing is really designed to be horizontal and it's designed to be a gaming monitor. Now, other things, we've got six buttons here to control the OSD. 
Uh, you've got some options in, in, you know, inside the monitor. You can put in like gaming mode and that sort of thing. Uh, I don't usually use those too much, but you guys have that. You can even do some of the other gamery things, like put the uh, on-screen display, you know, displays your uh, FPS, and you can also, um, you know, put like a target in the middle of the screen. And right now, where the trend is, you know, to have one button do everything or just two buttons do everything, I kind of like that they've included a few buttons. It's less confusing and less ridiculous. Also, the power switch on the back of this thing is like a rocker switch, just like you'd see on the back of your power supply. So that's kind of fun. So who do I think this is for? This is for gamers who are serious who um, have a higher budget, you know, have a good graphics card, like a 1080, 1070, maybe a Fury or something like that, but really more of the NVIDIA cards because of the uh, G-Sync, have one of those cards and really want to game at, you know, high pixel density, because it's 32 inches 4K, which is higher pixel density than a lot of the 27 inch 2K monitors. Uh, want really good color reproduction. Four millisecond response time is also really good. As far as the, uh, the overall input latency, it's very difficult to test this because the Leo Bodner tests do not work with 4K currently. 1080p, you're not going to be using it at 1080p, and it's not why you buy this, so we didn't even bother testing that. It is um, well, the fastest monitor. We tested against some of the other monitors here in the studio. It is the fastest one we have. So input latency is great. Uh, response time is great. Color reproduction is great. Viewing angles, great. Price, really freaking high. Uh, build quality, great. So really, you got to ask yourself, do you want this size? Uh, do you want to, you know, you want to game at 4K? And also, with this pixel density, go ahead and turn off a lot of your filters and get an extra uh, FPS boost. It's going to look just fine because you're not going to see a lot of the jagged edges. And 4K without the filters always does look better than like 1080p with a lot of filters. And, and 4K with, with filters, I mean, you can do that if you want to and see how it runs in your games. But really, uh, this monitor is going to be a hell of a gaming monitor. So that's who it's going to be for. Don't know if I'd use it or not because I'd really get a couple 40-inch 4Ks that run at 60 hertz, but are not really designed for gaming. I just like the huge monitors and you could get two for one, but those are Korean monitors. A lot of people are like, you know what? I'd rather get a well-known brand name and Acer has really been upping their game. It's one of the better gaming monitors I've seen out there on the market. And if you're someone who's into ultra-wise, they may have one of those for you as well. So let me know what you guys think of this monitor. Go ahead and click over here. It's somewhere in front of this monitor right now. Check out some t-shirts. We got some good stuff. Uh, we're getting new stuff in there every day. Maybe a new mouse. Who knows? We'll see you guys in the comments. Oh, that's fucking hot.